Hello everyone, and welcome InfoTap Learning to today's English episode. In this episode, we'll be focusing on English conversation. Listening to English conversations is an essential part of improving your language skills. It can help you enhance your listening, speaking, and comprehension abilities. So sit back and enjoy our conversation. Let's get started. Overcoming fear and building confidence in learning English can be challenging but manageable with a systematic approach. Here are step-by-step -step points to guide you. I'm really struggling with learning English. I feel so afraid and lack confidence. Can you help me with some steps to improve? Absolutely. Learning a new language can be daunting, but with a step-by-step -step approach, you can definitely make progress. Let's start by identifying your specific fears and setting some clear, achievable goals. My biggest fear is speaking in public and making grammatical errors. I also find it hard to understand native speakers. Those are common concerns, and you're not alone. Let's break it down. First, set some small, realistic goals. For example, you could aim to learn five new words a day or practice introducing yourself confidently in English within a month. Does that sound manageable? Yes, I think I can do that. Great. Now, start with the basics. Focus on common words, phrases, and simple grammar rules. Building a strong foundation will make you feel more comfortable as you progress. How about using flashcards or language apps to help with vocabulary? I've heard of apps like Duolingo. Are they effective? Yes, Duolingo, Babbel, and Memrise are all excellent. They offer structured lessons and make learning fun and engaging. It's also important to practice consistently. Even if you can only dedicate 10 minutes a day, regular practice is key. Can you create a study schedule that fits your lifestyle? I think I can manage 10 minutes a day to start with. Perfect. Now, immerse yourself in the language as much as possible. Listen to English music. Watch movies and TV shows with subtitles, and try reading books or articles at your level. This immersion helps you get used to the sounds and rhythms of English. What kind of music or movies do you like? I love listening to pop music and watching action movies. Awesome! Try listening to English pop songs and watch action movies with subtitles. This will make learning enjoyable. Also, Consider joining language exchange groups or finding a study partner. Practicing with others can really boost your confidence. Would you be interested in that? Yes, I'd love to practice with someone. That's a great step. Don't worry about making mistakes. They are natural and essential for learning. Each mistake is an opportunity to improve. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small. How about keeping a journal in English to track your journey? That sounds like a good idea. What should I write about? You can write about your day, topics of interest, or even jot down new words and phrases you've learned. This will improve your writing skills and help you see how much you've progressed. Remember, learning a language is a journey, not a race. Be patient with yourself, stay committed, and enjoy the process. Every step you take brings you closer to fluency. Do you feel more confident now? Yes, I do. Thank you so much for the advice. I'm excited to start. I've started with the basics and using Duolingo. What should I do next to continue improving? That's fantastic. Now that you've got the basics down, let's focus on expanding your skills. Here are the next steps. What's the first step? Keep practicing consistently. Gradually increase your study time from 10 minutes to maybe 15 or 20 minutes as you get more comfortable. Also, Try to use English in your daily life. For example, think in English, label items around your house in English, or even try to write your shopping list in English. How does that sound? I can do that. What about improving my listening skills? Listening can be challenging, but it's crucial. Continue listening to English music and watching movies, but try to add some variety. Listen to English podcasts or news channels. Start with content that interests you and is at your comprehension level. Do you have any favorite topics? I enjoy technology and sports. Perfect. There are plenty of podcasts and YouTube channels dedicated to those topics. Listening to content you enjoy will keep you motivated. Also, don't worry if you don't understand everything at first. It's okay to start with slower paced content and work your way up. What about speaking practice? I still feel nervous about it. 
That's understandable. Speaking can be intimidating, but practicing regularly will help. Here are a few tips. Talk to yourself. Describe what you're doing. Narrate your day or practice dialogues. Language exchange. Find a language partner online. Websites like Tandem or Helitalk are great for this. Join online communities, participate in English speaking forums, attend virtual meetups, or join online classes. Record yourself, record your speech, listen to it, and identify areas for improvement. This can also help you track your progress. How do you feel about trying one of these methods? I think I can try talking to myself and maybe join an online community. Those are excellent choices. Talking to yourself helps you get comfortable with speaking, and joining a community provides real interaction and feedback. I'm also worried about my writing skills. Any tips for improving them? Writing is another essential skill. Here are a few strategies. Keep a journal. Write daily or weekly entries about your thoughts, experiences, or any topic of interest. Practice with prompts. Use writing prompts to practice different types of writing. Join writing groups. Online writing communities can provide feedback and support. Use grammar tools. Tools like Grammarly can help you spot and correct mistakes. Would you like some writing prompts to get started? Yes, that would be helpful. Great, here are a few prompts. Describe your favorite hobby and why you enjoy it. Write about a memorable experience you've had. Discuss a current event that interests you. Imagine a day in your life five years from now. You, these look interesting. I'll start with these prompts. Excellent. Remember, the key is to practice regularly and enjoy the process. Learning English is a journey, and you're making great progress. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need more help or advice. Thank you so much. I feel much more confident now. That's fantastic. Now that you've got the basics down, let's focus on expanding your skills. Here are the next steps. What's the first step? Keep practicing consistently. Gradually increase your study time from 10 minutes to maybe 15 or 20 minutes as you get more comfortable. Also, try to integrate English into your daily life. For example, think in English, label items around your house in English, or write your shopping list in English. How does that sound? I can do that. What about improving my listening skills? Listening can be challenging, but it's crucial for fluency. Continue with English music and movies, but add more variety. Listen to English podcasts or news channels. Start with content that interests you and is at your comprehension level. Any favorite topics? I enjoy technology and sports. Perfect. There are many podcasts and YouTube channels on those topics. Listening to content you enjoy will keep you motivated. Also, don't worry if you don't understand everything at first. It's okay to start with slower paced content and work your way up. Subtitles can be helpful too. What about speaking practice? I still feel nervous about it. That's completely normal. Speaking can be intimidating, but regular practice will build your confidence. Here are some tips. Talk to yourself. Describe what you're doing. Narrate your day or practice dialogues. This helps you get comfortable with speaking without pressure. Language exchange. Find a language partner online through websites like Tandem or Helitalk. Practicing with a partner can be fun and motivating. Join online communities, participate in English speaking forums, attend virtual meetups, or join online classes. Interaction with others is crucial. Record yourself, record your speech, listen to it, and identify areas for improvement. This also helps you track your progress. Which of these methods would you like to try first? I think I can try talking to myself and maybe join an online community. Those are excellent choices. Talking to yourself helps you get comfortable with speaking, and joining a community provides real interaction and feedback. I'm also worried about my writing skills. Any tips for improving them? Writing is another essential skill. Here are a few strategies. Keep a journal. Write daily or weekly entries about your thoughts, experiences, or any topic of interest. This will improve your writing fluency and help you express your ideas. Practice with prompts. Use writing prompts to practice different types of writing. This can be creative and fun. Join writing groups. Online writing communities can provide feedback and support, helping you improve through constructive criticism. Use grammar tools. Tools like Grammarly can help you spot and correct mistakes, making your writing more polished. Would you like some writing prompts to get started? Yes, 
That would be helpful. Great. Here are a few prompts. Describe your favorite hobby and why you enjoy it. Write about a memorable experience you've had. Discuss a current event that interests you. Imagine a day in your life five years from now. You. These look interesting. I'll start with these prompts. Excellent. Remember, the key is to practice regularly and enjoy the process. Learning English is a journey, and you're making great progress. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need more help or advice. Thank you so much. I feel much more confident now. Or welcome. Keep up the great work, and don't give up. You're doing amazing. Here are a few more tips to keep you motivated. Set milestones. Celebrate small victories, like finishing a book in English or having a full conversation with a native speaker. Reflect on progress. Regularly take time to see how far you've come. This can boost your confidence and keep you motivated. Mix learning methods. Use a variety of resources books, videos, conversation groups, and apps to keep learning interesting. Stay positive. Language learning is a long-term process. Keep a positive attitude and remind yourself of your goals and why you want to learn English. Those tips are very helpful. I'll definitely keep them in mind. Fantastic. Remember, every step you take is progress. Be patient with yourself and enjoy the journey. You've got this. Feel free to reach out anytime you need more guidance or just want to share your progress. Good luck.